Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. This will be a very special base showcase video. It is the base of Boomstick Joe, the vice director of the Spacing Guild. He is my biggest helper. I'm, I'm the director of the Spacing Guild and he has been invaluable to our team. So I'm very excited to get to do his base showcase. He not only visits lots and lots of clients for the Spacing Guild, visiting people's bases and placing communication stations um, at, on their planets, but he also created our website and helps me to continue to improve the website. And he also um, just generally is a huge encour encouragement for the guild, and he's incredibly talented. Um, like I said, he made the website, so he's really good with computers, but um, he made a music video of his own bass which I'll try to remember to put a link to it in the comments for this video so that you can see his music video version of it. And I, so I knew I really wanted to come to his base because as you can see it's really cool looking. I've never been here but I've seen it many times. I've watched his video of it several times. It's pretty much, yep, pretty much the way it is in the video. Yep. And another awesome thing is, ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> His planet has giant diplos. Giant mega diplos. Look at that thing. It's the kind with the big, I don't know if, I don't know if you'd call it mushroom head. It looks kind of like a mushroom or something. It's not really a snake head. Some diplos have snake heads. But this has, I don't know, this, just this weird fin thing. Looks almost like a, a stingray head or something. Can't even see its eyes. It seems to be covered up by the fin. But it, and it's huge. See just how big are these things. I'm guessing he scanned them pretty early on. Here we are. Um, seven, 7.8 meters, which is actually not the maximum. Uh, eight some meters is the tallest creatures can be, I think. But it's still pretty huge. Pretty close to max size. See if I can get on its back. Oh, it just slid off of it. I've gotten on the backs of some giant creatures before. Whoa, what the? Oh my. Did it just kick me across the map? Oh my gosh, what the heck? I think I have a glitch. Oh my gosh, make it stop. Ah. What in the world? Ah. Okay, that was crazy. A Diplo just kicked me five minutes away. Okay, note to self, do not get on the giant Diplos. <laughs> Must have headbutted me or something and knocked me across the map. <laughs> Whoa, that was unexpected. Not exactly what I wanted to have happen in the video, but uh, certainly an interesting thing to have happen. It's just unfortunate it's going to take me five minutes to get back over there. Well, I guess I can enjoy his planet for a bit. So now we're having a little adventure crossing across his planet. <laughs> Gotta stay away from those Diplos, they're dangerous. <laughs> Wow. 
So this planet's very green and yellow. It's a pretty lush planet, of course. So anyways, he's got a really neat race on his base. Oh, there's the other version of the Diplo. It does not have the, the head fin. I guess I'll be sexist and say that I think this is the female version. <laughs> At least you can see the female's faces. The males have like a mane thing on their head. Fin or whatever you want to call it. Oh! And the females have like some kind of butterfly wings on the lower part of their neck. That's cool. Wow. Boomstick Joe's base is really close to a, a somewhat small um, hub. A hub is just an area that a lot of players have gathered around. I noticed several different players discovering stars around here. I gotta remember to ask Joe again what he said the hub was called. But it is basically on the opposite side of the galaxy from the galactic hub. Um, and I believe this hub is also a member of the Galactic Federation on Reddit. Galactic Federation is just uh, another subreddit that is trying to join all the different hubs onto one wiki, basically, so that um, players, new players and all that, can see all the different places in the Euclid Galaxy and the next two galaxies after it. They can see what all the hubs are that, um, you know, that they could go to if they want to. And it would be cool if there was enough hubs in, like, if enough hubs sprang up in the, in the Euclid galaxy that basically anytime a new player starts, they'll be not too far away from a nearby hub. Of course, the Galactic Hub is still the largest, um, and Amino Hub, I think, is kind of the second largest. Um, th three or four of my Space and Guild members went on kind of a diplomatic mission to the Amino Hub, um, which is, was actually turned out pretty successfully. I posted several posts on Reddit, uh, different subreddits that... Um, that they were there on that diplomatic mission, and I think we got like four four clients that gave us their coordinates. I put them on the mission board. One was a PC player, and the other three were PS4. Um, and I'll probably have to. I'll probably mention all this again in my um, my my Spacing Guild weekly update, weekly report. So I won't won't say too much more. I'll go over all that this weekend. But anyway, here we are back at his base after I got thrown across the planet by a Diplo. <laughs> I'm not going to try riding on their backs again. Um, so as you can see, he's got a really cool setup here. Lots of floating objects that just look cool. I gotta try that out. That looks just like a like the um, like an atlas station, like a mini atlas station. I gotta try some of those new shapes. And he's got ramps and stuff that are part of his race. So after I check out the inside of his base, we're going to um, I'm gonna do the race and see how good of a time I can get. And he asked me to. Um, post my time, so that's what I'll post in my comm station, whatever race time I get. Wow, he's a pretty good decorator. 
like I said, Boomstick Joe is very talented. He created this really awesome bass, and as you'll see, the race um, is really neat as well, which he showed in his music video. Um, and another reason that he's so talented is, is uh, he told me his, he wrote, or or at least somehow created the music for the music video of this bass, and it's really good music. I don't know if he actually composed it, or if it was a song that he just played himself, or if he really just, you know, mixed music electronically to make it, I don't know. But, Boomstick Joe is definitely multi-talented. I like all these gold chairs, it's a nice touch. Go upstairs. And of course this is PS4 if anyone's wondering, so you really can have a bass this nice on PS4 without increasing the limit. He, he told me that a lot of these different shapes and stuff are pretty cheap as far as uh, complexity cost goes when you're building a base. When you run out of complexity you can't build anymore, but all this stuff doesn't cost too much. It's more, it's more like the gardening and things that cost a lot. And it looks like he didn't have a whole lot of garden set up, so... That's why he was able to fit so much else in it. Oh. Okay, so I haven't been up here yet. Oh good, he's got a galactic trade terminal. And... Yeah, he doesn't really have a lot of farming. I'm guessing he probably put his farm in his freighter and just wanted to have a really cool looking base for his planet base. And of course he's got most of the decals. As do I. I need to put some of these decals on my base. I think Boomstick Joe's my last stop on my Space and Guild members tour. Um, he's kind of the grand finale. So now I'm going to do his race. He wanted me to post both daytime and nighttime race. Well, he wants me to do both a daytime and nighttime race, or at least note whether the race I do is day or night, so... See how good I... What the... Okay, this is weird because this isn't the vehicle that... Oh no, this is all wrong. Okay, uh, uh, okay, starting race over. Why, why did it... It's supposed to be the hover one, not that one. Maybe I need to change my current... Okay, that this is the vehicle that we want for this race. We don't want that other vehicle. Hopefully it'll give me that one now. Uh, oh no! Well, this is no good. I found a glitch with Joe's race. For some reason or another, it gives you the the roamer instead of the nomad. You can't do a water race with a with the nomad because it sinks. Ah, uh, well, I guess the race is canceled. I can't run it with the roamer. Either he switched it on accident, or it's some kind of glitch that makes it use. The wrong vehicle. Darn it. Well, it's still an awesome base, but I'm going to have to message Boomstick Joe. And <laughs> This is funny. This is like a repeat of my last um, base showcase. I did, I did um, Fullman Katz's base, and I thought I was going to do a, a monolith. thought I was going to see the monolith, but that got messed up. And I had to do another video later with the, the monolith. And now, Boomstick Joe's race 
race is messed up because it's got the wrong vehicle. So I'll message I'll message Joe after I finish this vehicle and let him know, and I'll do the race at a later date once he fixes it. Hopefully, if he's able to fix it. We'll find out. Wait. Wait. I think I know what's wrong. I never got in... The oh, that's the problem. I never got inside this and switched my primary exocraft. Okay, now it should work, hopefully. Let's see. I'm glad I realized that. I summoned... Yeah, okay. Okay. I summoned the wrong Exocraft. I, I mean, I summoned the Exocraft, but I didn't get inside it. You have to get inside the Exocraft to change your current Exocraft. Whew. Glad I figured that out. I almost ruined it. Would have been kicking myself later when I realized it was my fault and not Joe's. You know, this is basically playing with your friends in No Man's Sky. I've made friends as a result of playing No Man's Sky, and now I'm participating in a race made by my friend in No Man's Sky. So when Sean Murray said that you would be able to play with your friends, it wasn't a total lie. At least if they were planning to do this kind of thing all along. Of course we didn't have this when the game first came out, so... I guess it's a legitimate complaint that we didn't have any way to interact with other players other than naming stuff when the game first came out, but now we can make bases and races for each other. Obviously, some people will never be satisfied unless they get a massive multiplayer game, which is never going to happen with No Man's Sky. We might get some co-op or something, but massive multiplayer would just never work on a procedurally generated game like this has to be a persistent universe to have massive multiplayer. Just like Minecraft. Minecraft isn't massive multiplayer. You can have co-op, you can invite somebody onto your system to play in your world, but they've got to have some kind of system to... Yeah. I gotta concentrate on this or... Oh, darn it. I need to be up on that ramp. I'm not going to get a very good time because I'm gabbing. I don't really need to be on the multiplayer soapbox anyway. I truly believe that what No Man's Sky really needs is more variety, not multiplayer. We just need more- whoa, no, 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 darn it. Ah, uh, it's gonna be heck getting up to that thing. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh no, come on. How do I go up? Faster. Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah. Uh. This is annoying. <laughs> Slowly rising. Okay. Man, this is a big base. Is there a limit to how many checkpoints you can make on a on a race? I don't know. It's definitely not anything low like 5. Got to be in the teens. There we go. It says record beaten, but I doubt that's true. 23647. 
236.47. And go post that. Of course, he can just watch the video to see how fast I went. Two thirty six forty seven night and day. Now, the funny thing is, my other oh, there it is. I know at least one of my other Spacing Guild members visited here, they said they did, and there's the comp station, so. Let's go see what it says. Should be Marok 22s, he just told me that he visited Joe's base. Nice spot, Joe. Uh, 258, I think I beat, oh, that's old McReaper. 258.5 seconds. So I think I beat Old McReaper. Old McReaper's time, that's good at least. I'm getting some lag here because of this huge base, I'm guessing. Where is where is the comp station I just set? Did it despawn? Some of my some of my guild members have been saying that comp stations seem to despawn sometimes. It might be because of all the lag from the base, huh? Darn it. Am I just not seeing it, or did it despawn? Guess I'll build another one. I want the color to stay the same. Two thirty-six forty-seven seconds, day and. Hopefully it won't despawn again. Oh, there's more comm stations. Four hours away, so I guess I'll fly to them. Might as well. I like the little lanterns, that's a nice touch. wonder why there's so many comm stations over there. Both on this plant, uh, this island. Oh, I remember. I remember. Joe said that Marok Twenty Two likes to hide. Whoops. Hide comm stations underground. That's what it was. 
So one of these is Mark 22s. It's probably this one, which is below my feet somewhere. Hmm. Oh, that's the other one. Where'd this one go? There it is. So let's tunnel to it, I guess. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I'm underwater. Hmm. Did he, I think he, he must have hidden it underwater. I'm going to have to hurry or I'm going to drown. <laughs> I don't have any water breathing upgrades on in this game. Oh my god. <laughs> OMG, what are you doing here? <laughs> uh... <laughs> So that's Mark 22's comm station he left here. And we'll see who the other person is. I'm guessing the other person is Rabbit Gripper. I think Rabbit Gripper said he also visited Joe's base. <laughs> that was pretty funny, Mark. You know, it's pretty cool that there are comm stations from these guys way over at my base in the Galactic Hub, and now we're leaving each other comm stations here on the opposite side of the galaxy. Us spacing guild members really get around. We spacing guild members. Welcome to Trader Joe's. <laughs> Oh, this must be Joe's, Joe's comm station. Trader Joe's. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Trader Joe's. So Boomstick Joe is calling this Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is a sort of grocery store. I don't know if it's everywhere in the country, so if you're watching this and you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about. Trader Joe's is a... It's kind of like a health food store or something like that. I don't know. My mom shops there. She's a health food nut, so probably sort of health food. Okay, so I'm just heading back to his base because I want to end the video at his base since it's so cool looking. And hopefully my comm station is still there. Hopefully it didn't despawn again. If it did, I'll try leaving it further away. Maybe the lag from the base is so much that it just despawns comm stations that are too close. I hope I don't. Hope, hope my game doesn't crash. That would be sad if I ruined this whole thing. Okay, good. My comm station is still there. Alright. One more look at these crazy diplos that kicked me across the planet. So, this has been Boomstick Joe's base. The vice director of the Spacing Guild, my friend and great helper. I could honestly, the Spacing Guild would not be what it is today without him. 
his support and technical knowledge and talent has been invaluable to the Spacing Guild. So thank you, Boomstick Joe, for all your help. And this is one pretty awesome base. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.